Will the Senate please come to order? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senator Aquino? Here. Senator Awa? Here. Senator Chang? Here. Senator DeCoit? Here. Senator Dela Cruz? Here. Senator Elefante? Here. Senator Favela? Here. Senator Fukunaga? Here. Senator Gabbard? Here. Senator Hashimoto? Here. Senator Ihara? Excused. Senator Inoue? Present. Senator Kanuha? Here. Senator Keoho Kalole? Ill. Senator Kidani? Aloha. Senator Kim? Here. Senator Lee? Here. Senator McKelvey? Aye. Senator Moriwaki? Present. Senator Rhodes? Here. Senator Richards? Here. Senator San Buenaventura? <coughs> Senator Shimabukuro? Here. Senator Wakai? Present. Mr. President? Present. 24 present, one excused. Thank you. The chair has read the journal of the preceding day and approves the same. Are there any introductions this morning? Senator Keoho Kalole. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, joining us in the gallery today are uh, constituents and residents from <coughs> Senate District 24 who on our invitation joined us for a <coughs> constituent field trip for the day. They arrived by bus this morning, sat in on the uh, multiple agendas of the Senate Commerce and Consumer Protection Committee's <coughs> hearing and met with the Lieutenant Governor. They're also going to go on a tour of the Capitol and uh, have lunch with us. I'd like to read their names off. Please raise your hand because they're all standing along the back and, and welcome them to the Senate. We have Alika Rivera, uh, Kailua Neighborhood Board Chair Bill Hicks, Deborah Bohal, Annette Chio Tashiro, Donald Sakamoto, Anne Elizabeth Lemke, Sean O'Connor, Katrina and Randy Kennedy, and uh, Ms. Lemke's uh, companion, Daisy. Welcome to the Senate. Senator Lee. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, introduce a few young students and young adults who are with us. They're members of the Planned Parenthood Teen Council. Uh, please stand as I call your names. Emmy, Flora, Gray, Delilah, Mac, Vivian, Cerise, and Anella. Thanks for getting involved. Welcome to the Senate. Any further introductions, Senator San Buenaventura? Thank you, Mr. President. I have been informed that constituents of mine from Pahoa Elementary and Keonopoco Elementary are present. Please stand and welcome, well, and welcome to the Senate. Aloha. Thank you. Any further introductions, Senator Elefante? Thank you, Mr. President. Joining us today in the gallery, we have IAEA Complex Area Superintendent John Erickson, if you could please stand. Also joining him are students, staff, from first from my alma mater from IAEA High School. We have Principal Guevara and faculty and staff, if you could please stand. And to their students, thank you for joining us. Also from Pearl City, Palisade Elementary School Principal Gavin Sui, faculty, staff, and students, if you're in the gallery, if you could please stand. And lastly, shadowing me for the day is Aya resident and senior at Punahou School is Camden Fujimoto, who's accompanied by Taylor Sales from my staff. If we can give them a warm welcome. Further introduction, Senator Shimabukuro. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Well, the Waianae Coast is also well represented in our gallery today, and, and let's hold your applause. I want to um, call out, we have um, our CAS, Disa Haugi. Um, we also have my alma mater, Waianae Elementary, with their principal, Sheldon Kono, and you can stand when I call your name. And he's also with Donna Soriano, who was our 2024 um, teacher that we honored yesterday, along with students and faculty from Waianae Elementary School. We also have Lehoku Elementary School with their principal, Rebecca um, Cabreasas, and um, Ms. Kim Beach, uh, Laura Simpahan, Kim Hollingsworth, and Monica Manegdeg from there, um, and their students as well from Lehoku. And then um, finally, um, I ran into some from Waianae High School, Dana Hafi, Katie Kealoha, and the rest of their Marine Science Learning Center, and other students and faculty of Waianae High, 
if you're here, yes, please stand. Um, thank you so much for representing the Waianae Coast so well and all you do. Welcome to your Senate. Mahalo. Senator Decoy. Senator Decoy. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd also like to introduce some of our students as well as their teachers and some of the faculty that are here from, of course, the Canoe District. Uh, District 7. Um, starting off with Molokai, we have uh, students here from Molokai Middle School along with their teacher, um, Sarah Kava'a, her husband who is also upstairs still yet on the fourth floor while we were operating some of the machinery on robotics. Uh, we also have uh, Principal Espanola, I believe up there as well, um, our Kaz Winky. Um, I have students and teachers also from Kanakakai Elementary school as well as Molokai High, Molokai Middle School, and as well as King Ke Kauliki. If you are in here, please stand. And for the rest of the crew upstairs, uh, Brian Mendia guys and stuff, uh, welcome to your Senate. Thank you. Coming to session, I had the pleasure of sharing an elevator with the first three women you've introduced, Senator Decoit, Senator Inouye. Thank you, Mr. President and colleagues. I think our Hilo High School and Waikea High School, uh, if you're here, there's about a dozen of them as well. But I'd like to recognize the principal for Waikea High School, Kelsey Koga, and the principal for and chaperone for Hilo High School, Candice Keala Ili. Will you rise? And I'm not sure where everyone is because there's a bunch of you as well. Uh, there's 12 of you, I guess, in the gallery. But thank you for visiting uh, with our Big Island delegation this morning. And we're happy that you have this experience of visiting the Capitol for the first time. God bless, keep on studying hard, and good job for the Hilo High School and Waikea High School. Mahalo. <laughs> Any further introduction, Senator Favela? Good morning. Um, thank you, Senator President. I want to again uh, welcome Ariel uh, Villanueva, the Campbell Complex, Capolea uh, uh, Complex 2024 Teacher of the Year. Students from Eva Makai Middle, uh, can you guys all rise? I know you guys are all on the fourth floor. I want to thank my staff. I want to uh, make sure if we can put their names into the journal, Senator President. I also want to make a shout out. Campbell Sebas, I don't have my glasses, but I know that's her over there. Alisa Bender, can you give a wave, wave over there? Oh, you guys, okay. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Welcome to the State Senate. And again, before you all start popping up, if you submit the names to the clerk, then we'll have them entered into the journal. Further introductions. Senator Hashimoto and then Senator Awa. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this morning, I want to introduce my complex area superintendent for Central Maui, Desiree Sides, and also principal from EL, um, uh, sorry, Ma Maui Wayne Intermediate, Jackie McCandless. And I don't know if her students are here, but if her students, please rise as well. Uh, welcome to your Senate. Thanks for, so much for being here. Senator Awa. Mahalo, Pelikikana. The North Shore is being represented from Kuhuku High School. We have students Shaden New, Melia Teu, Mrs. Vendiola, Mrs. New, Principal Donna Lindsay, and Area uh, Superintendent Matt Ho. Further introduction, Senator Kim. Thank you, Mr. President. This morning I was visited by Farrington High School students and one from Red Hill. I'm not sure if they're in the audience. If they are, I want to welcome. Would you please, folks please stand? Go Gobs and go Red Hill. Thank you for being here. Mom. Thank you. Further introductions? Not Oh, Senator De La Cruz. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to acknowledge uh, students from my alma mater, Lelahua High School. If, maybe they went back upstairs. Oh, there they are. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have students from 
uh, Wheeler Middle School. I think the principal was here earlier. And then we have our complex area superintendent, Bob Davis. Thank you. Any further introductions? If not, Senator Kidani. Thank you, Mr. President. We continue our celebration of Education Week with our next group of incredible educators. On local and state levels, our educators are tasked with the immense responsibility of cultivating young minds and impressing upon them not only the knowledge necessary to become successful, but important values and life skills needed to adapt to the changes of the modern world. I would like to call upon the Senator from District 2 to introduce the honoree who lives in her district. Mahalo, Senator Kidani. I would like to recognize our 2024 Kau Keao Pahoa Complex Area Teacher of the Year, Pinky Grace Francisco. Pinky Grace Francisco is a distinguished educator with extensive experience in teaching English in the Philippines and Hawaii. After teaching for eight years in the Philippines, she continued, continued her career in Hawaii for the last five years and has embraced various roles. Currently leading the English language department at Ka'u High and Pahala Elementary School, Pinky Grace has contributed significantly to curriculum development, notably in creating a course on implicit bias, microaggressions, and stereotypes. Outside the classroom, she is a Hawaii State Teacher Fellow, a fellow of both the National Education Association and Hawaii State Teachers Association Early Leadership Institute and a liaison for the Hawaii Association of Filipino Educators. Colleagues, please join me in congratulating 2024 Ka'u Keao Pahoa Complex Area Teacher of the Year, Pinky Grace Francisco. I now turn the floor over to Senator Inouye. Thank you, Senator San Buenaventura. As a resident of my district, it is an honor and privilege for me to acknowledge the 2024 Hilo Waikia Complex Area Teacher of the Year recipient, Christopher Pika. Christopher Pika, an esteemed fifth grade teacher, has dedicated the last decade to shaping young minds at Honaunau Elementary and Chiefas Kapiolani Elementary. His teaching philosophy is deeply rooted in place-based and culturally relevant education, aiming to amplify student voices and foster a deep connection with their environment and heritage. Christopher's commitment to environmental stewardship and education was nationally recognized in 2021 when he was honored as the National Educator of the Year for Environmental Stewardship by the National Park Trust. His innovative teaching methods and dedication to excellence in science education led to his nomination as a finalist for the Presidential Award for Excellence in Science Teaching in 2022. Please join me in recognizing the 2024 Hilo Waikea Complex Area Teacher of the Year recipient, Christopher Pika. Thank you. I now turn the floor over to Senator Decoit. Mahalo Nui, Senator Inouye. It is with great pride and aloha that I acknowledge the 2024 Hana Lahenaluna Lanai Molokai Complex Area Teacher of the Year, David Kavika Gonzalez. David Kavika Gonzalez, a respected educator at Kanakai Elementary School on Molokai, has dedicated the last 23 years to teaching fifth grade at his elementary alma mater. His leadership in STEM was recognized with the Chekovitz Award by the Maui Economic Development Board in 2019 and a finalist position for Berneski's Award in 2021. 
Beyond his classroom's responsibilities, Kavika serves as the computer science coordinator, math chairperson, and is a key player in the school's leadership team. Kavika and his students have been spotlighted in local media and local conferences for their groundbreaking work in virtual reality and computer science. Colleagues, please join me in celebrating the 2024 Hana Lahaina Luna Lanai Molokai Complex Area Teacher of the Year, David Gonzalez. I now yield the floor over to Senator Kidani. Mahalo, Senator Decoit. On behalf of the Senate President, I would like to recognize Kara Kitamura, Teacher of the Year for our Kauai District Kapa'a Kauai Waimea Complex. <laughs> Kara Kitamura has dedicated 26 years to nurturing the minds of future health professionals. Kara found her true calling in 2011 as an educator within the Health Academy, focusing on advanced health, nursing, emergency medicine, and diagnostics for the 10th to 12th graders. Kara has been recognized through numerous awards, including Middle School Teacher of the Year in 2000, Swim Coach of the Year in 2004, Kapaha High Outstanding Educator in 2013, and the State of Hawaii Health Occupation Students of America, Advisor of the Year in 2022, underscoring her impactful contribution to education and extracurricular leadership. Please join me in recognizing our 2024 Teacher of the Year for the Kapa'a Kauai Waimea Complex area, Kara Kitamura. Mahalo, I now yield the floor to Senator De La Cruz. Thank you, Senator Kidani. I'd like to recognize Brittany Karalia as our 2023 Hawaii Co State Counselor of the Year. <laughs> Brittany Karalia has been a devoted school counselor at Helamano Elementary in Whitmore Village since 2015. She's been a pivot, pivotal in implementing school-wide social-emotional learning initiatives. Her collaborative efforts with teachers and administration are evident in the integration of social-emotional learning into the core curriculum and the establishment of an effective referral system for data-informed decision-making. Brittany's membership in local and national chapters of the American School Counselor Association further underscores her commitment to the counseling profession Brittany's deep care for her school community and her passion for nurturing and supporting her students highlight her as an outstanding school counselor, truly deserving of this accolade. Please join me in recognizing Brittany Karalia as our 2023 Hawaii State Counselor of the Year. I, I'd just like to note my father attended Helamano Elementary, so. I'd like to return the floor to uh, Senator Kidani. Colleagues, it is with great pride and aloha that we oh, your, your mic, yep. Thank you, Senator Kidani. Colleagues, it is with great pride and aloha that we celebrate these stellar educators and counselors. Their commitment to education and investment in Hawaii's keiki ensures the future of our state, and I know I am not alone in expressing my gratitude to each and every one of our teachers for the profound work that they do. Though not all of our educators were able to join us here this week, I would also like to recognize the other Complex Area Teachers of the Year and Charter School Teacher of the Year who are not here today, but will also be receiving Senate certificates to honor them for their tireless work. Jennifer Haban, Melanie Teraoka, Laura Cummings, Marina Higa, Jessica Peterson, and John Parker Sawyer. Senate President, may I request that these names be entered into the Senate Journal. So ordered. I would also like to take a moment to recognize our Department of Education Superintendent, Keith Ayashi, and his staff, Chief of Staff, Camille Masutomi.
And with them is the Leadership Institute of Hawaii State Department, Stacy Kunahisa. This morning, the Department of Education hosted a showcase on the fourth floor and I, highlighting the amazing work our students are achieving in Hawaii's public schools. Over 120 students from 36 schools participated, representing 14 complex areas. Their projects reflect the dedication and commitment of our educators to preparing our students to become successful and contributing members of our community. Mahalo Nui Superintendent Hayashi, Camille Masutomi, Stacy Kunihisa, and the dedicated DOE staff for hosting the showcase. Stand and rec be recognized again, please. Oh. Thank you, and I also fail to recognize that our uh, Assistant Superintendent Heidi Armstrong is also with us. Heidi, please stand. Thank you. Thank you. Senate President, colleagues, as you can see, we are joined by the dedicated students from around 36 schools today who are taking the time out of their spring break to showcase their learning with the, with the DOE. May I request the names of our students and teachers participating in today's student showcase be entered into the Senate Journal, which my office will provide. So ordered. Tomorrow, I look forward to welcoming the hardworking administrators and staff who support our students as we continue recognizing our Education Week honorees. Senate President, I now yield the floor. Thank you. Did we have any other introductions? If not, I'm going to break the rules. Uh, Senator Kidani, thank you for introducing uh, Kara. Normally, the president doesn't do introductions from here, but I forgot to forward the names. And now that the gallery is thinned out, I'd like to recognize uh, faculty and administrator from Koloa Elementary School. To the far right is Principal Leila Kobayashi, who was the Tokioka first runner-up. Last year, uh, we have uh, representatives from Kikaha Elementary School. And I know we had people from Chiefus Kamakaheli Middle School. Is anybody here from Chiefus? Last, uh, Brittany, if you'd rise again, please. The first thing I noticed when I came in to congratulate Brittany is that her lay is not tied. And I would like to just congratulate you on uh, your pregnancy and also to acknowledge how uh, so many of you balance work, life, mother, and everything else. Congratulations. Madam Clerk. On page two, standing committee report numbers 3118 to 3125 for adoption. Senator Wakai. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of standing committee reports numbers 3118 to 3125. Senator Decoit. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion, any objections? If not, the motion is carried. Referrals and re-referrals. Referrals and re-referrals are made in accordance with the orders of the day and the supplemental orders of the day that may be filed later today. No further business, Mr. President. Are there any announcements today? Senator San Buenaventura. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to request a waiver of the public notice requirement pursuant to Senate Rule 21 to hold hearings on HB number 2504 HD2 and HB number 2309-HD1. Due to the late request the Senate Committee on Health and Human Services have, has received, HHS would like to schedule a hearing for HB 2504-HD2 and HB 2309-HD1. 
The waiver is granted. Senator San Buenaventura. Thank you. The Committees on Health and Human Services and Higher Education will hold a public hearing on HB 2504 HD2 tomorrow at 1.02 p.m. in Conference Room 225. The Committee on Health and Human Services will hold a public hearing on HB 2309 HD1 tomorrow at 1.03 p.m. in Conference Room 225. Um, both notices were filed in the clerk's office this morning. Are there any further announcements, Senator Gabbard? Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to request a waiver of the public notice requirement pursuant to Senate Rule 21 to hold a hearing on HB number 2083 HD3 to expedite scheduling in order to meet the second lateral deadline. The waiver is granted, Senator Gabbard. Thank you. Your Committee on Agriculture and the Environment will hold a public hearing on this measure tomorrow at 1 p.m. in Conference Room 224. The notice was filed in the Clerk's Office yesterday. Thank you. Are there any further announcements? If not, the Chair has one. There will be a Senate leadership meeting immediately after session concludes, and we greet our honored guests. Senator Wakai. Mr. President, I move that the Senate stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow. Senator DeCoy. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. If there are no objections from the members, the Senate will stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow.